Hey, everyone, and welcome to Crash Course Philosophy. Today, we're embarking on a grand intellectual voyage through the birthplace of Western philosophy, ancient Greece. Buckle up, philosophy enthusiasts, because we're about to grapple with some of the biggest questions ever asked. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. Before the big names, the birth of philosophy. Let's rewind the clock a few centuries before Socrates. This period, roughly from the 6th to the 4th centuries BC, saw the dawn of philosophy as a distinct discipline. We're talking about a time when myths and religious explanations dominated people's understanding of the world. Enter the pre-Socratics, a group of brilliant minds who dare to ask why. They weren't satisfied with traditional stories and sought rational explanations for the natural world. Thales of Miletus. This dude is considered the father of philosophy. He looked at the world and thought, water, it's everywhere. Rain, rivers, the very essence of life itself. Maybe water is the fundamental principle, the arch from which everything arises. Simple, elegant, and kind of makes you thirsty. Anaximander. Thales' student wasn't so convinced about water being the root of everything. He proposed a more abstract concept, the Epiron, which translates to the boundless. This boundless, undefined substance gives rise to the diversity of things we see in the world. Heraclitus, this enigmatic philosopher, is famous for his cryptic sayings, like you cannot step into the same river twice. He believed in a world in constant flux, like a river, eternally flowing. Fire, a symbol of this constant change, was his pick for the Archie, Parmenides. Hold on, Heraclitus. Parmenides argued for an unchanging eternal reality. He believed in a single, unified being that cannot be created or destroyed. Sounds a bit like a philosophical Zen koan, doesn't it? The Pythagoreans. This group wasn't just about right triangles. They believed numbers held the key to understanding the universe. Everything from the harmony of music to the movement of planets could be explained through numerical relationships. The pre-Socratics laid the groundwork for the philosophical superstars we'll meet next. They challenged traditional beliefs, explored different explanations for the cosmos, and paved the way for more systematic thinking. Enter Socrates, the midwife of ideas. Move over, Thales. Because here comes the Og Questioner, Socrates. This Athenian gadfly didn't write anything down. Thanks Plato for preserving his ideas, but his method of inquiry revolutionized philosophy. Socrates believed in the power of dialectic, a process of critical dialogue where ideas are challenged and refined. His signature move, the Socratic method. Think relentless questioning, folks. Socrates would engage in conversations, asking probing questions that exposed inconsistencies and forced people to examine their own assumptions. His goal wasn't to provide answers, but to help people discover knowledge for themselves. Imagine a philosophical midwife guiding students towards intellectual birth, the legacy of Socrates. Socrates might have met an unfortunate end poison for impiety, but his influence on Western thought is undeniable. He shifted the focus from grand pronouncements about the universe to the individual's pursuit of knowledge and ethical living. Plato's world of forms, beyond the cave. Plato, Socrates' most famous student, took his teacher's ideas and built upon them. Plato believed in the existence of two realms, the world of forms and the world of appearances. The world of forms contains perfect, unchanging archetypes of everything that exists in our messy, everyday world. Imagine the ideal chair, the perfect circle. Those reside in the world of forms. Our world, 
The one we perceive with our senses is just a shadow, an imperfect reflection of those perfect forms. Plato's allegory of the cave. This captivating story beautifully illustrates his theory. Imagine people chained in a cave, their backs to a fire. All they see are shadows dancing on the wall, mistaking them for reality. If someone were freed from the cave and witnessed the true light of the forms, they would be blinded at first, but eventually see the world as it truly is. Plato's Academy, founded by Plato, this prestigious institution became a haven for philosophers and mathematicians. Here, they explored logic, ethics, and the nature of reality. Plato's dialogues, where Socrates often takes center stage, remain some of the most influential philosophical works ever written. Aristotle, the grounded thinker. Aristotle, Plato's brilliant student and eventual rival, had a more grounded approach to philosophy. He believed knowledge came from observing the natural world, not just contemplating perfect forms. Aristotle's empiricism. He emphasized the importance of empiricism, relying on our senses and experience to gain knowledge. Through careful observation and logical reasoning, we can understand the world around us. Dissection of animals, the study of logic, and the development of the scientific method are all hallmarks of Aristotle's approach. Teleology and the prime mover. Aristotle believed in a universe with a purpose, a concept known as teleology. Everything has a natural tendency, or telos, to strive towards its full potential. An acorn, for example, has the telos to become an oak tree. This purposeful striving applies even to the cosmos as a whole, the unmoved mover. But who or what set this purposeful motion in place? That's where the unmoved mover comes in. Aristotle argued for the existence of an uncaused first cause, a perfect, unchanging being that initiates all movement without itself being moved. This concept resonated with later theological ideas, virtue ethics. When it comes to living a good life, Aristotle focused on virtue ethics. He believed that happiness, or eudaimonia, comes from developing good character traits, or virtues, like courage, temperance, and wisdom. These virtues are not innate, acquired through practice and reason. Logic, the toolbox of thought, Aristotle's contribution to logic is monumental. He laid the foundation for logical reasoning, developing a system of syllogisms, a form of argument where you can derive a conclusion from two true premises. His work became the cornerstone of Western logic for centuries to come. Beyond the Big Three, a philosophical buffet. Ancient Greece wasn't just about Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. There were many other schools of thought offering diverse perspectives on life, the universe, and everything. Here's a taste of some other prominent philosophies. The Stoics, founded by Zeno of Citium. Stoicism emphasized living virtuously and accepting what is beyond our control. Stoics believed in a rational universe governed by fate, and that emotions should be controlled through reason. The Epicureans, founded by Epicurus, this school focused on achieving pleasure and avoiding pain. However, Epicurean pleasure wasn't just about indulging in physical desires. It was about achieving a state of tranquility and freedom from worry. The skeptics, these guys, like Pyrrha of Elis, questioned the very possibility of attaining true knowledge. They believe that our senses are unreliable and we can never be certain about anything. The Cynics, known for their rejection of social norms and materialism, cynics like Diogenes of Sinope challenged societal values and advocated for a simple life guided by virtue. The influence of ancient Greek philosophy. The impact of ancient Greek philosophy on Western thought is undeniable. 
Their ideas laid the groundwork for ethics, politics, science, and even religion. Thinkers like Augustine, Aquinas, and Descartes all grappled with and reinterpreted Greek philosophical concepts. Why does this matter today, even though these philosophers lived millennia ago? Their questions remain relevant. What is the nature of reality? How should we live our lives? What does it mean to be a good person? The power of critical thinking. By studying ancient philosophy, we develop critical thinking skills. We learn to analyze arguments, question assumptions, and evaluate evidence. These skills are essential for navigating our complex world and making informed decisions. A spark of curiosity. More importantly, these ancient thinkers ignite a spark of curiosity. They encourage us to wonder about the world around us, to seek deeper understanding, and to engage in meaningful dialogue. So, the next time you contemplate the vastness of the universe or wrestle with an ethical dilemma, remember the legacy of these ancient Greek philosophers. Their ideas continue to shape our world and challenge us to think critically about the big questions of life. Want to learn more? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.